Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the key of a loop in Reaper. Now the purpose of finding the key of our loops is so we can play along with them musically using other MIDI instruments. So the first thing we'll do before we import our loops is to create a track with a piano VST instrument on it, as I've done here, which is triggered by a USB MIDI keyboard down here. Now to import our loops, we'll go to the view menu and choose Media Explorer. Or we can use a keyboard shortcut on PC, it's all Control X, and on Mac, it's Option Command X. Choose it, and that opens up this dialog. And we can import loops into Reaper. Now I have all my loops in my sound library folder over here, which is on my hard drive. But I made another folder right here just for this project. And there's a loop up here I want to import into this project. Let's hear it. Now I could just mess around on my piano until I find which notes are being played. But instead, we could right click up here and go to show and choose pitch detection right here. And then we'll see the notes that are being played in this window right here. Let's see how it works. So first it sees an E. Let's see if it's right. It is. And then a D sharp or an E flat. Now there's not many notes in this loop, but I could tell just by messing around with a scale, it's in the key of E. Or if it's in minor, it's in C sharp minor. So that's the key we're gonna to wanna to play along with this loop. So let's import it into Reaper by dragging it down here, and let's hear it with a drum loop. And I can play along with it with my piano, because I know the key. So let's try recording a piano part with it. I'm gonna create an empty item, Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, right here. And let's record some piano chords that start on C sharp, as I'm basically playing it in minor. So now we can add a string part on top, now that we know the correct key and the chords we want to use. So let's switch our track to our strings, and now we can play a melody on top. So that's the benefit of knowing the key of our loop. Let's try the same thing with a different loop. 
This time we'll try this guitar loop. And again, notice down here, we can see the notes up here based on what's playing in the loop. Now I'm really hearing different notes in the melody, but Reaper is noticing the correct chords, which is A and E. Then a D, an E. And an E and F chords at the end. So let's bring it in to Reaper and play the piano along with it. It sounds like this with the drum loop. But we could play it with our piano chords. And we could tell from these chords that the key is A minor or C major. So let's try to play the piano part with it. Again, we'll draw in an empty MIDI item. Let's try to put down those chords. And just like that, we added to the progression by putting down MIDI chords in the key we found. So now we can mess around again with some strings. So that's the benefit of knowing the key of the song based on the loops we bring in and seeing the pitch detected over here in the Media Explorer. That's pretty much it. That's how to find the key of a loop in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!